Hey guys, it's Mike here. Today we've got a different video. Um, we are actually I'm not I'm actually going to teach you how to use FPS Creator Reloaded. If you haven't used it before or if you've never seen it before, I'll be going through all the uh, all the thing, all the controls, all the different tools, entities, all the markers that are involved. Creating oh no, didn't mean to do that. All the terrain, stuff like that. Just pretty much everything you need to know to create a game. Now let's first start off by saying what all these are. So obviously you have your new open and save level, you zoom in and out. This is shape mode. If you've ever used FPS Creator, the old edition like X9 or X10, then you may recognize a few features, but these are all brand new. But um, shape mode basically allows you to draw a train. Now if you click plus on your keyboard, it'll increase the size, minus decreases the size. Um, so yeah, if you by clicking shift it speeds it up. So shift pretty much is like your hotkey type thing. So if you were to do the like create a train like this, press shift, it does it a lot quicker. But yeah, I'm just gonna create a simple hill here. De -de -da -de -do -da. Just say we wanted it like this. You know, it's pretty simple. I'm not gonna show too much about the train, just the simple what they do, and then maybe getting into like hills and pools and stuff like that. Um level mode basically remembers this height so that I can start going like this and then saved stored level mode basically remembers where it's just where it just was and basically yeah allows you to it's just basically more customization paint ground so it's a bit like a path so I can have a path going round like this again clicking shift helps you zoom out a lot quicker Da, da, da. Say I wanted a path all the way around. It's a very bad path because I don't want the video to take too long. But yeah, it's just a basic level. Paint rock. I don't really see the point in this one to be honest. But yeah, if you wanted to create like a hill type thing, dealio like this, then you can do. The grass mode. Again, going like this lets you make it a lot, well, t uses up a bigger radius. Entity mode. See, so, um, if I was to go into, when I go into entity mode, you can't see the grass all lit up. If I go into train editing mode, you can see the grass, it won't look like that in the game, but that's just showing where the grass is. Entity mode will hide that and let you edit any entities in the level. Waypoints, waypoint editing, you can go through that later on in a different tutorial because I've not even mastered it yet. I'm no professional. Um, but here you've got your new random level which creates hills um, like pre-made which you can edit. New flat level which you create a flat level with no hills that you do yourself. Open is the same as before. Save standalone that's par that is um, part of the beta one point zero zero five which came out a while ago well, not a while ago two days ago maybe well from when I'm recording this uh shape mode level mode so that's just basically what I've just gone through toolbars you can hide what you want show what you want and anything else credits stuff like that you can view the funders but I'm not going to do that though because you can do that yourself this basically that takes you to the website at the moment uh, this shows the coordinates, uh, just a basic status bar. Um, a few little commands that you may need, although I'll be covering them anyway. Um, so we'll start. Get, we'll get started. But actually, we have sort of got the rock and grass sorted. So let's test out what this looks like by clicking the little rocket to launch the test game, which will 
launch the game. There you go. I start on this nice hill here. <coughs> I just jump off real quick. <coughs> See the grass actually moves and everything. Pretty cool. Pretty nice and dandy. The engine does all this for you. Low FPS detected. This is because it's got a few little minor. Well, yeah. They're going to optimize the performance for lower graphics cards, even though the mine's not lower end. Pretty much any <gasps> game with all this grass and everything, it does lag. Just a little bit. If I click tab real quick, I can see the FPS, the what, what the FPS is actually being used by, all the frame rates and stuff. Uh, light rays, I turn that up, it, I don't know what that does, but yeah. Over here you can change your terrain shader, so if you have a bad, or let's say, standard, you can have high, or lowest if you're if it's really that bad, but I have on highest. Uh, entity shader, we don't have any entities, but yeah, it's basically the same thing. Grass shader, we can have it on medium, and then we can have it on lowest if your graphics card's not very, not very good. Sky type, you can choose a skybox. I'm just going to leave it on that for now, just because a few of them don't work and they crash the program. I hope that's fixed soon. Train type, desert, ice and lush again. A few of them crash for me, I don't know why. Brown leafy, blah blah blah, that's vegetation type. Over here you can change all the visual settings, so like the FOV. If you really wanted it like that, I wouldn't recommend it, but it looks pretty cool. If you wanted it, ooh. I'm gonna have it about there for me. Camera zoom percentage, don't know what that is. Camera distance basically affects how much you can see. It doesn't really matter because I don't have anything in the distance, but if you wanted a scary game then fog would come in useful, the distance of the fog would come in useful. Uh, the colour, the ambience level, how bright or dark it is, and things of that nature. <gasps> Oops. So yeah, that's the basic parts of that. Um, escaping, clicking escape exits the test game. Again, zooming in with shift and stuff like that. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to show, sorry is the in-game editor, the 3D world editor, which is again part of one of the new betas versions. Tab for settings, F9 for 3D edit, which is what I was saying about. I click F9 real quick. I can start to sculpt my level while playing. So that's a pretty cool new feature. So again, this is just painting grass. Um, if I wanted to, um, A for oh, um, what's this? Um, not too sure. Um nope, I'm not sure what this does. That's the player start. I don't know what all that is at all. Wow. Um but yeah, let's well, not mess around with that like at all. Because that doesn't look too great. Whoa. That doesn't look great. Let's remove all them because there is only supposed to be one in the level that would crash probably. I'm not even going to try that out. See there's only supposed to be one in the level if I just rapidly click. There is only supposed to be one. Uh, but yeah. Now I'll just basically... I don't think I'm going to go through the entities this episode. Hmm. Yeah we have some time, why not? Okay, so... If I go into, say, put a ca uh, character on, here we go, if I want him here, um, but 
obviously you need a weapon to kill them with so we're going to put some pistol ammo around here players going to start with now we can choose from here now choose lives how many lives they have so if I put it on a thousand lives um, health save four thousand even though that's not very realistic for a game it's just to show it off basically what it can do change the speed to 120 I don't know why just thought I would has weapon now we can choose the Aussie, the sniper shotgun magnum and cult I'm going to choose cult um, hurt fall so the height at which damage hurts during a fall um, I'm going to say 20 just to make it a bit more realistic I've never really messed about with that before but you'll know, we'll see how it goes ok so now you'll be able to see the new AI from if you've used FPS creator before then you'll see the AI increase in improvement in reloaded so we'll wait for this to load here we go wow that looks kinda I don't know why the arm is really straight I know if I change the FOV yeah there you go it's a little bit better so as you can see there a thousand lives four thousand health Got some ammo for our pistol here So it's still kind of it does need improvement, but there you go, it's um, pretty good. Not gonna lie, as soon as the gate the engine is in early beta, it's pretty good. Um if I <gasps> fall down now, I should get hurt. <coughs> yes, there you go. <gasps> that was really realistic. Here is why am I getting hurt? Yeah. Ah. I don't know why I'm getting hurt there. Wow, that is really weird. Hmm. That is very weird. to get hurt like that but eh yeah, whatever <coughs> wow okay so now you can just do that which is a bit weird why am I dying wow okay so yeah that's the basic idea so I think that is it for this episode of oh, this tutorial um, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you if it helps you. Um, and yeah, um, I may create a little village just between now and next episode. But uh, no, I don't keep saying episode. It's not like a game. Uh, if I just save as now, save it as YouTube tutorial. Tutorial series. Part one. Oh, no. Let's see the leave it as YouTube series. Now I may want to what I would recommend you guys do as well is not only save very often because it is in early beta, but also save backups as well. Just because in case anything happens to the level it becomes corrupt, you're screwed. And also I would not recommend creating any intense game that you're gonna spend a lot of time on in well the programs in early beta because if anything happens and your level gets lost or corrupt you're not gonna be happy so thanks for watching guys see you in the next tutorial oh yeah and yeah I've probably said this already but yeah I have but still don't forget to subscribe like if it helped and yeah stay tuned for the next
next ep next tutorial video. I'll have this in a playlist. So if you have, uh, there'll be a playlist in the description, even though this is part one. I'll put a the link to the playlist in the description so that if you can't find uh, the second video it will be in the playlist so yeah thanks for watching guys and sorry for the rambling but yeah see you in the next one